first started to shoot landscapes, I wasn't really interested in this idea of an end product. I was very much in love with the act of photography, you know, I'm trying to understand the how, you know, whether that was trying to learn how to use my camera in manual mode or trying to understand composition a little bit more or just trying to figure out what subjects or scenes I enjoyed shooting as a landscape photographer. Well, then came my discovery of Instagram, of all things, which really gave me this fulfillment, you know, it was like finalization. My, my images, some of these photographs that I'd worked so hard to acquire, you know, quite a lot of them, finally had a home. And as lame as it might sound, because we're talking about Instagram here, it gave me an incentive or an extra incentive to go out and take photographs. Fast forward just a couple of years later and that Instagram fulfillment ended up becoming quite the opposite, to be honest. I really didn't feel like it was a, a worthy finalization of my photographs, a worthy conclusion. And so that's when I started looking into printing. Now, most photographers out there, you know, a lot of photographers will always encourage you to print your images. And that's something that I wholeheartedly agree with. You've heard me talk about on this channel tons of times in the past, you know, there's nothing quite like holding your own image up against the light and really appreciating the ink and you know, the subtle textures of the photograph itself or even the paper that you've printed it on. But I suppose I'm here today in this video to say that for myself at least, I've discovered another tier to printing even, another stage of finalization and that's getting those prints framed. This idea of finalization is something that's actually become really important to me as a photographer, I think, you know, it's natural for us anyway, as human beings to want to have a start point and an end point. You know, it's very normal. And my start point is usually here in my flat, whether it's, you know, browsing the internet for location, inspiration, or looking through photography books, or just scouring through ordnance survey maps, you know, this is my start point. This is where it all begins. Sometimes it's a little bit more spontaneous, you know, and it starts out on location. I might stumble across a nice scene or an attractive subject or even a composition sometimes. But the point is, is that there is a start point and that it's really important to us. And in its simplest form, we need to know what we're photographing and why we're photographing it. So as far as I'm concerned, that should mean that the end point should hold just as much significance as the start point. And it really feels like framing is the most natural way for that journey to end. And, you know, don't get me wrong, it's still meant to post photographs up to Instagram or Facebook or Flickr, whatever it is, or um, even up to your portfolio on your website. If that's an option, that's something that I definitely do. But nothing quite compares to, you know, standing back and admiring, you know, a piece of your own work within a beautiful frame that actually complements your photograph. One of the biggest advantages of framing in a presentation sense is actually the prominence and the weight that it can add to your image. And you know, when I first went to a framing shop by myself, I mean, I didn't have a clue, but obviously there's tons of different options for glazing or mounts, or of course the frames themselves. And I just really feel like all those things grouped together, you know, can really help to actually accentuate the visual expression that your photograph has probably already got. Now, if you imagine for a second, you know, just a print up on the wall by itself without a frame, um, I really feel like it loses a lot of that prominence and that weight and, you know, it, it tends to just get lost within the wall itself. And I think it's really important for me to say at this stage, you know, there's nothing wrong with just having a print up on the wall. I also think that's fantastic and I feel like that actually holds many of, you know, the same values and concepts about what I'm actually talking about in this video. I'm not trying to convince you to just go out and spend a ton of money on bespoke framing. I guess I'm just trying to encourage you or inspire you to give it a try, you know, and I can pretty much guarantee if you've never had one of your prints framed before, 
and you're, you're gonna you know do your first one, it's probably not gonna be the last. I think a lot of people now are actually going back to a point where they're admiring framed prints. You know, especially in this day and age where we just have this barrage and bombardment of digital images on screens and monitors and on you know social media, things like that. Quite in the same way that you've got a lot of music fans reverting back to purchasing vinyl records rather than using streaming services like Spotify or Apple Music. It becomes something a lot more tangible and real, you know, you can actually hold it. And I think for myself, I wouldn't have got into framing as much if it wasn't for my exhibition that I've got planned for this summer. Um, so I feel really grateful for that and fortunate, but I think overall, I think a photograph that you're really proud of just deserves an attractive presentation. I think framing really has a bit of a dual purpose as well and it actually protects your artwork. Think, for example, if you took a photograph that you're really proud of, it might be you know, the, the best photograph you've ever taken, your favourite photograph, or actually it could be something quite sentimental. You know, it doesn't even need to be something that you've taken, but to get it framed, to put it in within a frame, almost creates this, this seal, you know? And I find that incredibly reassuring that that is gonna be protected there for years to come. And you can get all different types of glass and acrylic nowadays that can stop, you know, 99% of UV rays. You know, when you see like faded photographs, faded images, especially when, you know, chances are you're probably gonna want this photograph up on the wall in, a, in, in an exposed environment. So it's really, really reassuring to know that it's protected. I think the overwhelming positive factor, however, from you know getting your own prints framed at least, is I suppose the pride aspect or the inspiration aspect that it gives to you personally. You know, when you've got your own framed print up on the wall in your own home, it, it's mint. You know, it's wonderful when people come around and they might compliment it, whether it's friends or you know, family or whoever really, um, it feels nice. It's like a real life Instagram like, but I suppose, you know, we're taking photographs for ourselves at the end of the day, or if we're not, we probably should be. And it's just incredibly rewarding to sort of stand back and just admire, really admire a piece of your own work up on the wall in your own home in its completed state. It's absolutely wonderful. And, you know, for me, it reminds me of that beautiful sunrise hike up Helm Crag or that time I slept in my car in Glencoe or you know the time I got caught in a snowstorm or blizzard next to Woolswater and it's just incredibly inspiring and you know every time I look at it, it it fills me with pride and it makes me want to go out again and take more photographs that you know in turn then I'll probably end up getting frames it's like this beautiful cycle that goes on and on and I suppose I'm appreciating them even more at the minute, you know, with this coronavirus pandemic that we've got going on, being sort of locked indoors, shut indoors, and just a quick glance at one of my framed prints really reminds me of where I'd rather be at the minute, and I don't know, I suppose it reassures me that it's not gonna be long before I'm out there again. Earlier on, I mentioned my exhibition and how it how it was that really that, that's given me this passion that I've got for framing and appreciation for it, and. You know, that's great. That's been part of the journey. I wouldn't have that appreciation if it wasn't for my exhibition, but I think the biggest takeaway that I've got from it all is definitely the sort of personal satisfaction that it gives to you. And I really think going forward, I'll probably strive, you know, to, to frame any photographs that I'm particularly proud of.